just like that. I'm just gonna, I got a bunch of reviews to do. I got a bunch of work to do. I changed my shirt twice today because I've been sweating. It's freaking crazy hot out there. It's freaking crazy hot. I can't stop sweating. I can't stop moving. I can't change, 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 change my shirt all day long. Let's lower it. Oop. Well, I gotta waste time anyway till people show up. I like at least two people. I've been doing morning shows. Not many people show up because they're at work. I am building my channel. James J. J, -j James J. I'm lowering my tripod. It's like a bad rocking ship. I'm supposed to fix this before I even go live, right? We'll just do it like this. We'll change it up. We're keeping it real. So, the general hot sauce. So here's this card. Don't miss out. When it's time to reorder, don't forget, visit GeneralHotSauce.com. I'm trying to focus this as much as possible. You get to pick. You can choose your charity, donate who receives a donation for the purchase of a three-pack. GeneralHotSauce.com. Back in action. JP Reality Show. Reality, reality. There is no reality. This is just pure insanity. Ingredients, American grown jalapeno peppers, distilled vinegar, salt, garlic. So this is basically a smooth mash of jalapenos. Cool little dog tag they put on here. I get the whole collection. I learned you twist it. This is supposed to be a grenade. Pretty cool. I originally thought you could open it like by pushing this or pulling a pin. Nothing like that. You just twist it. These are pretty cool. I guess I'll save the bottles. It smells great. It smells fresh. Put it on a chip. Hey, Ace Hardware. They, they sold these at Ace Hardware? Really? Look. <laughs> Look at this. Look what I can do. I can eat sauce on a chip. Nobody else can do that. Uh, that's kind of thin. I'll shake this up. There's no xanthan gum in this, I don't think. Nope. It tastes... What's that come out and freaking hit me in the eye? It tastes like what you think. Kind of a thin jalapeno garlic sauce. I do like it because I like jalapenos. Very hot today. how you get the, the chip in. <laughs> it's not the heat, it's the vinegar. I do like this. Heat, I'm going to be honest, is less heat than I expected. Heat's like a 1.2. Flavors about a six. So to be honest, average okay rating. It's like a C. To be honest, it's a C average. It's worth getting. It's very tasty. So far, my favorite is the first review I did. And that would be the maple syrup with habanero in it.
It's delicious. It is good. I'm a tough raider. I'm going to rate it tough. Because I'm tough. Awesome, Anthony P. Yes. Justin Staggers, how you doing? If you guys have great questions, go ahead and ask. Very hot outside. My hose blew up. It had a kink in it, and it was like a big whale. Yep. It's salt and vinegar that's getting me. We're, we're James. Yeah, this is a uh, good for a light topping. This would be good on really anything, eggs. For some reason, this would be a good morning sauce. Pest control. Flamethrowers and machine guns. For aphids, I use ladybugs, but ladybugs down south, for some reason, doesn't work that well. If you're down south, lace wigs, praying mantises, although I got chastised in some gardening groups for suggesting, uh, what was it? I can't think. Praying mantises. Because they kill hummingbirds, and I didn't realize that. See, I'm still learning stuff, too. They go up to the hummingbird feeders, and their legs are all jaggedy. And they'll freaking catch that thing. They'll hold on real tight, and they'll eat the hummingbird. I'm not even joking. So I got chastised in some gardening groups because I suggested that. I'm like, They're like, you know how people are on the Internet. They, they, they expect you to know everything. Hit that thumbs up and share share the video. Yeah, I mean, ladybugs is great. You could use neem oil. You could use Dove dish soap. Put a, a squirt or two in a spray bottle, kind of shake it up. Spray it on top of the leaves lightly underneath in the soil. Although you can get rid of aphids, but don't, their eggs are hatch, and then you got to do it all over again. So daily inspection, daily inspection. I'm eating chips just to eat chips. Last time I, I, sw I swear to you, I eat all my meals on camera now. So this is not a healthy meal, folks. This is a very thin sauce. I was thinking maybe I should have done a couple reviews on the same. I could. I could. I could do it more. I got more upstairs. Oh, some people ask me, they're like, why don't you do a drip system? That's that's actually a great question, a great thing. You got to do the drip system. You got to do the drip system. Well, the drip system with the nets is, you kind of lift the nets a little bit, but you can still do it. For a smaller company like me, that would cost a lot. But I tell you what, I personally feel the best system for me would be overhead. But Pennsylvania, it, there's a lot of rain in Pennsylvania. I'm kind of hungry, so I'm still eating. So there's that ordeal. I watered half my grow and my hose blew up. I'm not joking. It got a kink in it. Expanded because it was so hot. Boom. Yeah, I, I, I'm walking out there for inspection anyway. I might as well water. It's... <laughs> I'm goofy. That, this is the heat. 
All right. Everhead spray system. I wanted. I was thinking about doing it, and you know, just setting it up. You have to do it per rose, or you don't have to do it per rose. I can put it in certain areas as long as it covers that area. Nice and easy. I don't have to. at some save time. I could. I could get an extra review in or something like that. That that'd be cool. It would look cool. But my zoning board told me not to. Another reason to move. So I can't do that. Thank you. Thank you, zoning board. So that they won't let me do that. I'm commercial. I am registered commercial land. And they, and they got restrictions on every damn thing I do. Everything. Everything. So I water by hand. But it rains a lot here in Pennsylvania anyway. Oh yeah, you're in competition with yourself to get the first super odds. I do like yellow peppers. Yellow peppers are awesome. Tell you what, you know, I should I, I could always rename this when I'm when I release it. So I don't know, man. We're gonna go get some of the other sauces. So I'll be right back. Let's start reviewing them all. And I'll just go live for an hour. So if I go live for another 40 minutes, get all these reviews in at once, then I'm done with them. And uh, start moving on to other videos or just simply fill in orders. I did two shipments today. All orders have been shipped. If you guys want to see a tour, the tour's already been, been done twice already in the past few days. So let me grab some more sauces. More reviews. We'll do them all at once. I can always go back and do individual pre-records for analytics or and make them shorter. But I'll go ahead and do this. In fact, I will re-review re what I've already done. Go ahead and share this. <coughs> Since I'm <coughs> people are like, dude, pickles is out of shape, he's out of breath. I just ran up up and down the steps left and right on other videos. So I did this this morning, Maple Mayhem. I'm going to just take a sip out of it. I'm the only one having hot sauce here. I'm the only one here anyway. It's a nice, this is real maple syrup with habaneros in it. This is better than the jalapeno one. This is one of those things I might as well call it regret because I feel like drinking this whole thing. I'm not going to. That would probably give me instant diabetes because it is maple syrup. It's just enjoyable. It's not meant to be chugged. Great flavor. This is the name on it. Maple Mayhem. Is that backwards? If it is heat level three, I give it more like a one. So I did that. I did this. Oh, doing all these reviews sometimes, man, I was like, I'm getting dehydrated from all the salt from the products. We got seven folks in here. So let's move on. Let's keep it rolling. Let's keep it real. So far, 
Here's another green sauce. Grunt green. If it's backwards, Hey, Tuna, Obsessive Gardener. Tom Brune has been growing some tasty yellow brain strains. Yeah, I noticed, man. Tom's a good dude. All right. Pickles, pepper, pickles, pepper, tuna. Okay. Thumb, yes. Thumbs up. Give me a thumbs up and share this. I need numbers. I need numbers. My name's, my real name is Gary. And I'm Jimmy Pickles' boss. Get your head out of your butt, Pickles, and freaking start working. You're in the welding days before your seed company, and you need to start getting production up. Quality, quantity, quality, quantity. Quality, quantity. And then he disappears. This is my old boss, man. This is my old boss, okay? He disappears. I swear to God, dude, I have to talk about this because I lived it. I almost need therapy because I lived because of my old boss. He would reappear. He, and quantity, quantity, quantity. I'm like, oh my God, dude, you're driving me nuts. Please go away. Please go away. So he would. He'd go away, and he would pop up out of nowhere. Like, he would disappear, okay? He'd disappear. He'd be like this. And then he'd pop up like this, drinking his coffee. And he would kind of be like this half the time. I'm like, my God, man. What's that guy from the Halloween movie? That was my old boss. He'd be a, he'd be behind with my welding machine or something like that, and he'd pop up like the, the my 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 MIG welder or whatever, and I was doing torque converters. He'd pop up like this. That dude freaking. The one day I got him good, I struck an orc. I'm not a welder anymore. I was for 17 years. I struck an arc. And he's, ah! <laughs> Serves you right, goofball. But he would pop up like the guy from Halloween. Michael Myers. That's it. That's it. Michael Myers. He would pop up like Michael Myers. Just, Dude, I got to make a meme now and send it to my old workers. The old recon days. The old recon days. And it just... I'm working on these specialty uh, torque converters and everything else. He'd pop up. I don't know how I got on that subject, but... No. Share it out. Share, share. Thumbs up. Share. You know what I think? In general, if you're around certain people for at least five years in your life, you take certain traits from them. Just a general. Okay, what did I do? I didn't even get to this. That's all right. I need long videos. <laughs> I need numbers. American grown cayenne peppers, distilled white vinegar, salt, and garlic. So this is like another verde, but it's not jalapeno. It is a cayenne, a verde cayenne sauce. So without hesitation or delay, let's get to it. Let's open that grenade. <coughs> oh. Smells 
fresh, it smells earthy, it smells verde. Very runny sauce, as you can see. You know what the chips, to be honest, a little salty. This one tastes a little salty. It's good. It's just a little bit less salt on this recipe, I would say. Going backwards, maple mayhem. This is freaking like the best damn thing. I, it's in my hands. It's freaking in my hands. I might as well have it. It's freaking delicious. And this, the jalapeno sauce, it was it was just okay. Honest reviews, honest reviews. Let's see. Oh, chug it? No thanks. I'm not worried about the heat. I'm worried about the salt. A certain sauce has put a lot of salt in their stuff. Dead red. All right, let's get to this. What am I going to do with all these keychains? I'll just leave them on the bottles. American grown. Cayenne peppers that are ripe. Distilled vinegar, salt, and garlic. So this is the same. Th this is basically the same sauce as this one, but the, the cayennes are ripe. So Grant Green is cayenne unripe. And red, dead red, is cayenne's ripe. Open this bad boy up. It smells good. I haven't been disappointed yet. It's just some some of these sauces taste average or what it's either average or way above it. Okay, this is a little positive sign this is a little bit thicker this is what you want okay still a little salty but I did have chips of salt I like it this is pretty good heat I'm a chili head I'm giving it a two two point one flavor I'm going to be generous. I'm going to be generous, especially because these guys give the veterans a 7.1. You know, but I can't remember the numbers on this one. This is their best damn sauce I've ever had out of their stuff, Maple Mayhem. So I just did three reviews. I got, did I? Did I do three? I did four. I did four. So let's take a. Wait, there's a comment I want to reply to. Okay, chug it. It's only milk. I don't want to chug milk. Haha. <laughs> Does anyone else get seasonal depression when the growing season ends and the cold season starts in? Yeah, I think we all do to some degree. That's when I start really binge watching on Netflix and HBO Max because I'm sorting seeds. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Maybe 11, 12, 13. Throw it in the pack. Got that. That's what I do for November, December, January, February, March. That's all I'm doing is trying to fill all those packs. And I'm still doing it from last season. And I'm producing already from this season. So I got two more sauces to do. I got the danger. We're going to do it this way. We got the danger close. Which is a, an American grown, of course, cayenne and habanero peppers. Still with vinegar, salt, and garlic. Here's another one. Chalk and awe. All right, so what in the world is this? Back to me. I need the spotlight. I got nothing else going on in my life besides peppers. I'm purely dedicated. And welcome to the JP Reality Show. I went from four to seven. Get those people back. Freaking let's go. 
got to get your production up. Keep sharing this out. Keep giving me a thumbs up. So anyway, it's a habanero peppers distilled. White vinegar and salt. So we're going to do this right now. We're going to do the shock and awe. Open my grenade with the keychain on it. it smells all right. I'm honest, it smells all right. Not a spectacular scent. I'm not going to put it underneath my ears for a scent. This one's a lot hotter than the other ones. It's habanero. This is a straight dead on habanero heat. Heat, I would give a four on this one. I almost sweated, but I didn't. It's a little tongue burn. Flavor, 6.4. I told you I'm a tough grader. And like I said, this is almost a 10 for flavor. The Maple Mayhem. All right, we're going to take a break. Not a break, but... Cleanse my palate. Think of my reviews when I do a bunch of them. Like wine tasting. You want a bland cracker, absorb that. Otherwise, I'm not going to surely get the taste of the next one. All right, let's go to comments. Okay, I'm caught up on comments. If you guys have grow questions, go ahead and ask. Rob uses card table crackers. I don't even know what that means. Card table crackers. I, I don't get it. I'm actually at a card table. Danger Close. That's the cayenne and habanero mixed together. So far, this is worth buying. I do recommend... I want to see if I buy this again. The Maple Mayhem. I would buy about three of those. And I'd probably stick to that. Just being my taste buds. Heat. 3.2. Flavor. 5.9, 5.9, They're good. They're all good. They're solid. Are they worth buying? Yes. Like I said, I'm a tough grader. Maple Mayhem. My favorite. Worth buying. Worth every single cent. Arsenic element, how you doing? So I reviewed the whole thing. I can make this video longer and just keep reviewing the same thing for everybody who comes in. Give me a thumbs up. Feel free to share it. Yeah, sharing this video helps my channel. Not only does it help my channel, it helps out the, the general. And this gives to uh, charity. This is for charity. I'm going back. I'm doing this again. I freaking love this. This is addicting. Cool bottles. I really like this. Like, if I have pancakes tomorrow, I'm definitely using this. Maybe I'll do French toast. I don't always have breakfast, but I think I'm going to have breakfast tomorrow. I think I'm going to do that. Justin Stagger says, I'm stoked to try the Ahi Lemon Drops this, this year. 
Oh, yeah, my nose started going a little bit. And the eyes. Nothing's really all that hot. It's just when you do a lot of reviews. One day I did close to 20 reviews. And I didn't release all of them. Anyway, Tessa says, I'm set to try ahi lemon drops this year. First time to grow or taste them. What should I really expect? Grow tips. Grow tips? I don't know. <laughs> they grow so easily. They're an easy pepper to grow. Possibly stake them. Put them in a deeper container. Oh, my teeth are numb now. Now, who... who? Who has patience for pancakes? No one I know. They're so delicious. My review on pancakes. I couldn't bring them to the review. I already ate them. That's my review. Yeah. Oops. I hit the wrong button. Okay. Hot day today. Well, that's it. I reviewed all of them. I'm eating chips. As if I had to tell you. General hot sauce. Great for... I think my thumb throws it off. So I'm going to rule this like a scroll for Star Wars. <laughs> Smoke Hall Foods, Al 3 c veteran-owned small business. I think I got the pepper hiccups or gas. Oh, burps or whatever. Sorry, it was established in 2012 at a tailgater. Like most companies, let's do it this way. Like most companies set out to achieve three things. One, make the absolute highest quality of all natural hot sauces without cutting any corners. Think Johnny Walker's, think Johnny Walker Blue Scotch. Support the American farmer and protect quality, product quality. Take two on all of this. Try reading a, a script here almost when, when your tongue is burning. By growing all of our own peppers in the United States. That's right, every single pepper. That's how it's written. Every period, single period, pepper period. Create employment opportunities for and donate a meaningful percentage of our profits to military and veteran families. We try to do our try to do things the right way. We care about our customers. We find people smarter than us and we listen to them. We think about team more than we think about ourselves. We cherish words like integrity, respect, honor, and accountability. We have a healthy disrespect for lazy, and, and nobody has more fun than we do. If you're lazy, they're going to disrespect, for, disrespect, for, disrespect you. So if you're lazy, I'll get their phone number, and they're, and, and they're going to disrespect for you because you're lazy. <laughs> But you're probably, you're so lazy, you won't pick up the phone for them to disrespect you, right? That's what it says. It doesn't say to call us up if you're lazy. <laughs> ah, that would be great. Trying to bring up content. Yes, yes, trying to bring, that's exactly what I'm doing. Uh, this has a shelf life of two years, and you do not need to keep it refrigerated. So, that's it. Check them out. Stay tuned for three more hours of a fat guy eating chips. And not saying anything. And go.
messing with you. Yeah, it's uh, you know what I find exhausting? Me fishing in my brain while I'm on live video to keep you guys entertained and go as long as possible. Well, the reviews are done. They're good. This maple, maple mayhem. I'm going to be sick to my stomach. It's so good. That's their slogan. We want, to, we want you to be sick to your stomach. It's so good. Also, if you're lazy, we're going to disrespect you. <laughs> Awesome. Ooh, boy. I think I just got a signal. I can't keep this long. I got 15% left. Freaking good. So that means I'm out of content. I'm fishing for it. Okay, I'm going to read this and I'm going to end it. How about compost teas? Question. Don't you want your whole recipe? The, uh... But you, no, I don't give out my uh, process. I've perfected my process over 10 years. And the reason I won't give it out is because it works really, really well. And competitors would use it. But that's not the main reason. Believe it or not, Jimmy Pickles does want to manufacture fertilizers within, I'm, I'm, I'm not, not, not five years. I have a business plan. And it's not what you think it is. It's going to be seeds, but it, uh, it's going to expand a lot more. I'm working around the clock to do that. I'm going to start doing fertilizers. Like, I could sell it to you. I wouldn't give you the recipe. But I will point you in the right direction to guys help you. Your success is my success in, to some degree or another. Yes, no, positive, negative. That being said, you go to Google, compost teas, there's some recipes on there. Or, this is a great way. It's a little pricey, but it's a great way. Go to Extreme Gardens, compost teas. The stuff works great. The stuff works great. And, and, and refer to my how-to videos. You could do... Uh, Got out of breath from doing all the talking and all the eating. <laughs> Imagine me going out onto a date because I am single again. Imagine that. But yeah, I'm single again, so I I sit there and just eat and talk the whole time, and then like within 20 minutes, it was like, "Are you all right?" I'm like, "Sweetheart, you got to realize I just ate a bunch of food and never stopped talking." Extreme Gardens Compost Tea, they have a kit. It works fantastic. Maybe, just maybe, I will do some recipes from Google that I could brew for about 24 to 48 hours. Use a five-gallon bucket. Use some water. You can, you can use grass clippings, but grass clippings, you got to figure out what you're feeding. Into the compost teas. Grass clippings contain nitrogen. So if you're trying to, for blossom, you don't want nitrogen. But if you're doing compost teas for your plants to grow, sure, do that. Um, you can filter all that stuff out, put it in a watering can or a feeding system. If you want blossoms, that's only weird. I'm a little congested. If you want blossoms, you could do more phosphorus and potassium. You know, honestly, banana peels, mince them up real small, put them in a mason jar, soak it for 24 hours. That will help blossoms. Nitrogen will get flowers to drop. You don't want flowers to drop. You know. Also, pepper plants are self-pollinators. Shake the plant. My plants are in the isolation nets so I go up and I basically I'm not joking my neighbors probably think I'm crazy as crap but you work at 16 hours a day I probably am I give my plants a high five no joke if they're full and they're around the plants I give them a high five and it shakes the plant and it gets the pollen moving 
So I feel like a celebrity, like I'm wrestling, I'm going down the hallway, I'm on the left side, on the right side, I'm giving them a high five, shaking the nets. That helps a lot. It drops the pollen. And then they pollinate. It's as simple as that. Oh, okay, picking your brain. Yeah, that's cool. Well, anything I say on here would be for everybody's use. But, yeah, like I said, I wrote my own recipes. But Stream Gardens, fantastic compost. And I keep forgetting, I want to go long. I want to go live longer. I'm on 14% on my phone. So I'll tell you what, I'm going to go for a while. You know, and I try to do this videos like I'm a teacher and I try to have the kids get involved in education, you know, and high five to the plants. And like, that's ridiculous. The hell's he talking about, man? Pickles is not. The trolls will be like, dude, Pickles, Pickles is freaking nuts, man. He freaking high fives his plants, man. Who the hell freaking high fives his plants? Don't buy from Pickles. He high fives his plants. <laughs> that's what that's how they think that's literally how these weirdos and they're weirdos and they watch every video so i don't care it's viewing time come on come on gather around but yeah little things like that and and, and another video i did don't make a mistake that two individuals i caught doing it last year they were taking an electric toothbrush and pollinating to get to get it going faster instead of shaking the plant they did it for every single variety of the plant and i'm like are you freaking kidding me do you realize what i went up to the guy I said private messenger i said you do realize what you did right he's like no i did a great thing you should be proud of me pickles i said no 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 i'm disappointed in you your kids are disappointed in you. No, but seriously, what you did is you just cross-pollinated everything. So if you're going to save seeds, ain't no good, man. Ain't no good. So that's that's what that's what happens. I mean, you could do that, but you're going to have to wash that thoroughly with very hot water between each variety. You could use a Q-tip. But they're self-pollinators. I don't do that. Just shake the plant, high five it, whatever you want. When it, when this hits ten percent, I'm out of here. I hear you, Justin. Yeah. Well. Yeah, my recipes for compost teas I don't give out anyway. I wouldn't even give them out to workers, although I don't have workers, but eventually I'm going to have to. I could have workers and just go live 24-7. So, I know the reviews were fun, everything. You know, if you have a strong soil, you don't have to do too much nutrients for a while. One thing I will say about soils, once that hits 10%, I got to go. It's at 13. One thing, including myself, for years I made this mistake. Not that it's a mistake because it is, but it isn't, but it is. The soils deplete themselves within anywhere from two to six months and are grows a lot longer than that. So if you want full capacity and you want the best plants, you either got to really... Uh, Go crazy on the nutrients towards the end of the season to get them producing and to ripen. Or you're going to have to change out some of your soil a little bit. Also, I will tell you what I do. I fertilize a lot more than what most people think. However, I fertilize less. So it's like going to the gym. When you go to the gym, what do you want? Do you want to do heavy, heavy weights? that can hurt you and, and rip your muscles because actually building muscles is ripping muscles and then it takes so long to heal and then you don't go to the gym and you just kind of hurt and you look bad or do you want repetition for the plants 
I like low dosages and more repetition. And that's the way the plants really work. Now, you can do higher dosages and stuff like that. I find out my own niche and what I like. And pay attention. They will tell you what they want. You know, if they're bumpy and stuff like that, they might need calcium. It might be a calcium deficiency. Sometimes you get a little bit of yellowing and, and browning of the leaves. That could be either nutrient burn, sunburn, or magnesium deficiency, stuff like that. You know, and, and I, I try to do as much instructional videos as possible. I do appreciate everybody. Uh, I did I did write stuff down. I'm at 12% now. So hydrogen peroxide brings a little oxygen to your roots. That's important. Compact soil. If you have too much compact soil, break it up with perlite. Get a big bag of perlite. Perlite's inexpensive. You can get the generic perlite, and it's just as good. So mix it in. Mix that baby in. Yes, good point about eggshells. Eggshells, what you're supposed to do is actually sanitize them. You're supposed to use them and you bake them for whatever. I never did, to be honest. And you could crumble them up and put them around your grow and they will help your plant with calcium. Yes, but it takes a month for that to break down. You want to speed that up? A month is a long time, especially for smaller grow seasons. Put it in, make sure it's 100% dry. Put it in a blender, make powder and wear a mask. That is the most God awful scent I've ever smelled. Eggshell powder and it's, and you lift my blender and it's a it's just like, oh man, it's a freaking horrible smell. And it gags you instantly. Wear a mask when you do it. Everybody got masks nowadays. And uh, do that. It'll break down in a week. Four to seven, I think the time is four to seven days for eggshell powder to break down. Man, 12%. I'm trying to get them as long as possible. Yes, the blunder thing. Works wonders. Well, let's see. Clamshells are better. I don't know. I don't know if clamshells are better. They're all calcium. They might be better. I can't rule that out. I don't know. It's the accessibility on calcium. So, I don't know. It, it depends how long they release. How much calcium is in a teaspoon of clam shells or crab shells or eggshell powder. I don't know what's better. I know if you have broken shells, they're going to take, it's like time release, if you want to think of it that way. Eggshell powder is more readily available. Although, you can make that stuff into powder. You might screw up your blender, though. But, you know, if you don't have a deficiency and you put it on, it's all on preference. It's all on preference. All right. Well, let's see. I think I'm at 10%. No, I'm at 11%. I'm going to go ahead and go. Thank you for watching. Please share this video. Also, jppepperseeds.com. I did put some new varieties on and stuff like that. And uh, crab shells are faster, yay, organics. Yeah, I, I mean, honestly, I, I don't know. I mean, I don't know. And all I know is, well, charcoal's not calcium. But, yeah, eggshell powder I know is like four, four to six days. Depend upon your moisture and your soil for the roots to absorb it. All the other stuff I think is like two to two, two to five weeks for fragments. You know, calcium's calcium. There's not different types of calcium. There's different types of caffeine. You know that? Different types of caffeine and how they affect you.
differently. It's like different types of capsinoids. Based on pigment, that's true. Chocolate peppers affect you faster. They hit you faster. And they make believe that they're hotter than the reds for that particular variety. Anyway, I'm concluding it. JPPepperSeeds.com. Check out the General Hot Sauce. I'll go ahead and I'll, I will put the... If you guys want this stuff, General's Hot Sauce, I reviewed for them. And that maple syrup, maple mayhem, is my favorite out of them. It's freaking fantastic. It's to die for. All right. Thank a veteran. I thank you. And jppepperseeds.com for one of your most trusted isolated seed sources in the world. Next to a couple others. So, <laughs> All right. I need a break. I haven't had a break all day. Check you later.